Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and one juror who was dismissed in the Trump trial, she said some news that the news media was kind of not expecting. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So this particular juror was interviewed by the media after she was dismissed, and she she talked about Donald Trump in a way that I didn't expect to hear the people in New York City talk about him. And I'll tell you why. I'm from New Jersey. Um, I was born and raised maybe 15 minutes from the heart of New York City. I know New Yorkers. I know their politics, generally speaking, but it's a reminder that individuals are individuals. For instance, Republican in New Jersey, you know? So individuals are still individuals. I couldn't glean exactly what way this woman leaned politically, but her impression of Donald Trump, I think that stunned a lot of people in the media who really were looking maybe for a takedown of Trump and didn't get that. I want you to watch this video and let me know what you think when you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. What was that like answering questions, including some about Donald Trump as he is sitting 30 feet from you? It was odd. Uh, it, it was such an interesting experience because it's, I had never seen him in person before, you know, um, and you, you see someone blown up so larger than life on the media for so many years. Um, to see them in person is very jarring. Um, and you get the sense that it's like, oh, this is just another guy. And also he sees me talking about him, which is bizarre. Did you make eye contact with him? Yes. Yeah. Um, At what point? What was that? Uh, I believe right before I started to read off the, the questionnaire and uh, right after I finished before I got up to go when I was dismissed. Did it add a, another level of nervousness or tension that you felt with him sitting there? I think so. Um, it, it it made the whole thing feel more real in a way, um, because I guess when you're on any jury, it's you have elements of that person's future in your hands. Um, so whether it was Trump or whether it was some stranger off the street in Manhattan who I had never heard of before, um, if, if you commit to sitting on the jury, you can change that person's life forever.